Furthermore, the session will be chaired by the new first-year rep, who will join me and the girls afterwards for dinner. I don't believe it. Now, if that's not incentive enough to win on Friday, I don't know what is. Good luck to all of you. Well, thanks, lads. You know, it might be nice to do my bit. Represent the school in that. You think you've got it in the bag, don't you? I might surprise you and whip both your butts. Well, ladies, it's like we've got a fight on our hands. Friday's the big day, people. Remember, it's your student rep and your vote counts. But, before you make your minds up, we've got the tiniest confession to make. Remember how we were campaigning for Danny Miller? Well, we may have made a mistake. May have. We thought he'd appreciate the challenge. But now we realise he'd probably be the worst first-year rep well in the history of first-year reps. He's lazy. Indolent. Hey, that's not true. He laughed so hard one time, he nearly had a little accident. No, 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 that's incontinent. Indolent's another word. Don't worry about it. Is that what you're doing for the election? You sound okay. Safe, babe. Don't you think doing a Whitney number is a tinsy bit? X Factor. What's your big idea then? I'm going the classy route, naturally. I'm reading a very beautiful, a very moving poem, If by Kipling. Well, he does make exceedingly good cakes. What are you going to do, Danny? Sing? Fling foot? What? I, I don't know. Might just flash in my megawatt smile and uh, hope for the best, Misty. Do you want to get started on that Stravinsky? I talk you type? Mm -hmm. What every girl wants to hear. I think I'm definitely going to keep it in that lower key, though, Lola, because those high notes are killing me. OK, cool. I think I'm going to go for a long hot bath, make myself look beautiful. You're already beautiful, darling. You're just saying that. Stand there. Let me have a look at you. Turn to the left a bit. Well? Keep very still. I'll only be a couple of hours. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't really be doing this. I know, but now we're political rivals. Maybe you should be out there canvassing. <laughs> I think we've got work to do. Stravinsky. Oh, such a downer, though. You know, who actually cares about dead composers? Yeah. We're here to perform, you know. It's called an education. All these essays. I thought I'd be done with all that when I left school. No choice, though, have we, if we want to stay here? <clears throat> Apparently, the theory stuff gets really full on next term. <clears throat> what did you mean you should be out there canvassing? What about you? Nah, it's, uh, just see what happens. <laughs> you're just saying that because you so know you're going to lose. Ah, see so if you ain't gonna beat me, do you? No, oh, trust me, brains over beauty. Ah, uh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> right, loser. Let's get back to dead composers. <laughs> Cabaret in Chicago have more than stood the test of time. I mean, if Bob Fosse can make it from Chorus Hover to creating these massive... Mm. Thanks, everybody. Good luck to those going for first-year rep. Uh, Danny. Is, uh, everything all right? Look like you've been somewhere else for the last hour. Yeah, sorry, uh, just thinking about the election. Anna mentioned you've fallen behind with your theory work. You still owe her an essay, don't you? Yeah, I I've done it now. Um, you know, it's all under control. It's just, if you're struggling now, maybe first year rep's not such a good idea. No, I'm not struggling. It's a lot of extra work on top of what you got already. Yeah, I can handle it, yeah? It's cool. 
Gut. Here's your essay. Uh, maybe you'll stop slagging me off to the other teachers now, yeah? People may not understand that our love shines so brightly. Oh, so brightly, our love shines brightly through. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs> For that song from your work in progress, Anton Deck, the musical. Right, your next candidate, Lauren. Start the clock, come on. Hi. I know some of you don't know me, but um, I believe passionately in the school, and I'll be as loyal to you as my Billy, Barney, and Bobby are to me. <laughs> They're my dogs at home. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, I hope you like this. I'll never change my colors for you. Take my love, I'll never ask for too much. Just all that you are. Can't wait for her to really hit those high notes. I don't really need to look very much further I don't want to have to go where you don't follow I won't hold it back again This passion inside I can't run from myself There's nowhere to hide Well don't make me close on my door I don't want to hide She goes up again next course, doesn't it? Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing high notes. Okay. Next up, Claudine. Start the clock. Well, you all know me. So, I'm sure you all realise what a superb rep I'd make for you. I'd like to read If by Rudyard Kipling. Um, yeah, if, if you keep your head while all around are losing theirs, then you'll probably be okay. And if I get chosen, I vow to use my powers only for good. And, you know, I also believe children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. It's not exactly I have a dream, is it? <laughs> Anyhow, the upshot is, vote me. I'm great. Thanks, Thanks. I haven't seen anyone die quite so spectacularly since the last act of Romeo and Juliet.